Now, games companies were today accused of trying to persuade children to buy hidden extras as they play and running up substantial bills for their parents in some cases. The companies have been told by the Office of Fair Trading to stop preying on the vulnerability of children. Andrew Verity knows from experience how easily the bills can rise. Young students like yourself learn the ways of magic. These are free to download, and at first at least, they're free to play. But they're also among the highest grossing games in the lucrative world of online gaming. Something about that doesn't quite compute. How do they make money if they're free? This is Sludge Street. That's, that's the shop where we were. That's Harrods. I mean Horrods, but it's meant to be a bit like Harrods. As your kid starts to play, they seem to do what they say. Your children entertained and distracted at zero cost. I got these things from the shops. But further into it, games like Moshi Monsters will tempt your child with options that might cost you some very unvirtual money. Exactly how optional are they? I'm trying to go here, but still have to. I can't go there because I have to be a member. Oh, I really want to go to all those places that says you need to be a member, but I can't because I don't have any money. Dad? And I thought it was free. In fact, I definitely got an email which said when I registered my daughter that this was a free online game. But now, I think I'm probably in the situation of millions of parents who have to do the inevitable under pressure from pester power. I'm not alone in feeling like I've been skinned. The Office of Fair Trading's identified big problems with the way online games are marketed and the way parents are induced to cough up. Here's what the Office of Fair Trading was worried about. A lack of transparent, accurate and clear information about costs up front. A blurring of the distinction between spending currency that's in the game and real money. And children being encouraged through in-game statements and images to buy something or persuade others to buy it. You might think parents should just resist coughing up, but even if they did, it wouldn't be enough to resist the lure of the online game because kids could just take their pocket money, pop to a shop and buy one of these. A membership card for a month will typically cost a fiver. The huge popularity of online games has made their creators rich. Men like Moshi Monsters creator Michael Acton Smith. Our inspiration for creating new Moshi Monsters comes from all over the place. Now worth well north of £100 million. With other games, it's not just the membership. If your child has your password, you could end up paying hundreds of pounds of real money to buy virtual things. He was playing and it was a so say free game. He asked his dad for the passcode, so his dad put in the passcode after inspecting the game to check that it was free. And uh, unbeknown to us, it was un not until the next day that we realised he'd spent £1,743. The OFTs produce guidelines meant to make the marketing of free games clearer. But when companies don't have to conform, it's not obvious they'll prevent game creators stretching the meaning of that most powerful marketing tool, the F word. You happy now? Andrew Verity there. Well, with us now is Vincent Shearer, who's a director of Tiger, which represents the UK games industry.